So you wanna know how to actually do the teleport effect that you just saw inside of this intro. And honestly, this is probably the easiest effect that you can do for your short form content to immediately like stand out from the crowd. I've seen tons and tons of different creators do it. And honestly, I could see why they do it super sick so before we go ahead and get inside of this tutorial i'll let you guys know that my name is chris Bustead and i run the takeover shop where i start editing assets and presets for content creators just like you now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and get started right now so first things first is the actual footage so i want to go ahead and import the footage real quick and show you guys the sort of behind the scenes of how you're supposed to do the effect so i'm gonna go ahead and get the footage loaded up real quick so we actually have our footage completed right now and sort of the key thing is you guys want a clean plate and a clean play is essentially like the video without you in it so I have my chair, my microphone, super, super simple. One thing when you get up from your chair, you want it to be in the position that you want it to stay in. And then when you get back into your chair, you want to not move a thing. You don't want to move the chair. You don't want to move the microphone. Honestly, you can get away with it, but the closer to keeping it exactly the same, people won't be able to notice the cut as well. So this is the clean plate right here. And then I'm going to show you me getting inside of the chair. I'm super, super careful. Like literally look like an old grandma, bro. <laughs> So anyways, we get inside of our chair. So you guys can literally just do that or you guys can do like a little bit of like a like a jump in sort of thing. That's kind of why I did like this little bounce thing. So that way it kind of looks like you just fell in like out of nowhere. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and actually edit the actual like sort of intro real quick. Yo, real quick before we continue with the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that the Ultimate Solo Creator Bundle is out now. And hands down, this is the best product that I've made. I've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack. So that way I don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks. And through this kit, I was actually able to optimize my workflow. So now I don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content. Like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process. And like, I genuinely mean that. I use these presets each and every single day and they're actually pretty gas. So if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online, go ahead and check it out down below in the description. And let's get right back to the video. We're going to go ahead and start off just by getting the clean slate right here. We get like a, like a second or so of it, cut it, and then we go right before where we want to cut it again. So we'll go to right where I bounced. Okay, let's see. Do right here, cut it, and then we'll see this transition. So, I mean, technically you could cut it off right there, but we're going to sauce it up a little bit more. And the way they can actually sauce it up a bit more is by duplicating your layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and key out like me. And the way that I actually do it, I use Keeper. If you want to go ahead and like rotoscope in After Effects or just do a rough mask in Premiere Pro, do whatever you want. I'll actually just throw a rotoscope tutorial if you guys need it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy myself. I'm going to drag this back a little bit. So that way we have like a little bit of me doing this. And then we're going to go ahead and key myself. So the way that I actually like to do it, Keeper, drag and drop the Keeper plugin, which by the way, this is only Apple, but it's pretty gas. So we're going to go ahead and just do detect subject um, should actually be there we go. So as you guys can see, it's only me selected right here, which is pretty fire. And then we are going to go over here to opacity and then we are going to create a circle mask and essentially we're just going to make the circle smaller and we're going to make the circle bigger so it's kind of like a little bit of a cool reveal or at least a little bit more saucy of a reveal so we're going to go ahead hold shift while we're sizing down so it's a perfect circle and then we are going to mask path we're going to start it and then we're going to end it right here so let's change this to all the way up scale it all the way up same thing for that way super cool and we're gonna have like sort of like an effect like this but let's make the circle like literally pretty much zero so we're gonna do it very very small just like that we're gonna center it a bit and then we'll see what it looks like so far sick cool let's go ahead and play that full speed so as you can see it looks pretty cool but it's honestly a little bit too fast so the way that we're actually going to fix that is by dragging this out a little bit and then also turning the opacity um, 100 keyframe right there and then turn it all the way to zero to make another keyframe and then it'll kind of just make a little slow fade coming in and that looks sick. So that's the first way to go ahead and sauce it up. You guys could also add a overlay transition, which you could use any overlay transition. So I'm going to go ahead and use my most used pack, which is a creative Ryan pack. I honestly really like his stuff. It's really goaded drag and drop it on the transition and then go to screen and then go ahead and play through 
so that's pretty fire and then also um you guys can actually go ahead and just get rid of this mask if you wanted and then you guys could literally just throw like literally the overlay again on there if you guys wanted to do just that and honestly for sure from content that's what i'd recommend because there's really no reason to do a crazy animation so we just did something like that let me go ahead go lighten or go to screen actually really do that and that's pretty fire the thing that's going to sell it the most is genuinely the sound effect so you go to premiere composer or just grab whatever sound effects you have i'm going to do i'm going to do a little bit of a riser but also a uh a click which actually i might just do a click Let's see how that looks Let's do a riser as well. By the way, these are all free sound effects. You guys can go ahead and cop them down below on my website. Just go ahead and look for the free product. It's there. That's pretty killer. You could also do it just like that with just the um, the cut. Another thing you guys can go ahead and do, like honestly, you know, this video is probably a little bit, a little crazy. Not gonna lie. You guys can go ahead and add an adjustment layer. Go to glow. I feel like this one is probably the way that you guys wanna go. VR glow, luma threshold. Luma threshold is pretty much telling you like what uh, is getting glowed on, I guess, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> um, so you want to go ahead and change the glow radius to something that looks good. Glow brightness. Let's go ahead to the cut. So the, so the cut's going to be like right here. So I want to go ahead and throw it right there. Make it as bright as possible. Just like so. Maybe that's a little too crazy. And then go back down a couple frames. Just throw it down to zero. And throw it down to zero which that's pretty fire. So there's so many different ways you guys can really sauce up this effect. Hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.